It's crazy to look back over everything. This is why you need lawyers. I've just not been dealing with how I feel. I, yeah, I cannot believe it. I don't know. I'll figure it out. silly and bought myself a new coffee mug but how cute is this it screams spring this is from the brand 10 strawberry street i do have another one of their mugs they make the most beautiful floral mugs although i do think they are a little big like my coffee seems a little watered down today which is not great but they're super cute i picked it up from tk maxx the other day which it's tk maxx here i think it's tk maxx in the uk tj maxx in america and winners in canada and i don't know where they normally sell this brand i've seen them on amazon Wayfair and Walmart, but they don't seem to have like a specific collection somewhere. They just always end up in the TK Maxx's, TJ Maxx's, and I love them. So I now have to fit this into my luggage somewhere, but I love it and I'm kind of really glad that I got it. In today's video, we're going to be doing a few things to finalize up my visa so that I can eventually get on a plane. But for today, I'm going to have a productive girls day with Erin at her new studio. So let's go. Goodness, look at you. You're so cute. Welcome to my TV. Oh my god, stop. Hello, hello, welcome. Welcome to my studio. So we are still in the process of setting it up. It is going to be a video studio, but there is still a bit of an echo, so we need to work yep. on that. At the moment, we are hiring it out as a photography studio in Melbourne. So if anyone's keen, we have just our paper backdrops here, little set situation over here, set kind of like meeting area. This part over here is pretty much the set that I use for my YouTube channel. But again, the whole purpose is that it's super modular. Like we wanted to be able to shift things around, change things around. I have a dream of getting a bunch of props like having yes. this huge like props cupboard and then even having a bunch of different like sizing and different clothing and stuff like that so content creators can come here and they can just it's like a creative playground Sorry, amazing I beat that <laughs> How cute is Erin's studio? I'll have to go back before I leave because it's just so adorable. It's now a few days later and I do have to start working on some of my visa stuff. So visas can take a really long time to process, to have them organized, to have all of your documents. Mine's probably been pretty quick in the scheme of things, even though I have been back in Australia for seven months now, which is crazy. My particular visa is called the O-1 visa for the United States and it's a petition-based visa. So I spent about four months collecting all of the documents to put together for the petition. Then we submitted it. Then it took about six weeks to get an approval, which a six week processing time is actually not that bad. I don't think in the scheme of things because some visas take years to process. So six weeks is actually pretty fast. Then about a week after I got approved, I got some more information and had to do two applications in order to book an interview. So I have to go to an interview, then they take my passport, then I get my passport back, then I can leave and so I still don't have a specific date but we are getting closer I think I'm only a couple of weeks away and today I have to do some stuff for my interview because there is a list of documents I need to take to my interview and they are so strict this these documents need to be stacked in the specific order that they give you I suppose it's to make things more efficient so when I hand them over everything's in the right order but I do need to get two things printed I need to get a passport photo printed and also a document it's like a summary document that has a barcode on it that they need. I'm going to print that one today. I'll save the passport photo for another day. But this morning, Rachel and I were chatting and she actually has kind of come up with a new visual to-do list. And I think it's going to be a really good way to try and stay organized and remember the things that you need to do, especially if you are a visual person. Today, we are heading out to Officeworks because she would like to buy a printer. So then I will use that printer to be able to print out my document. But we're also going to try out this new way of making a to-do list, which is going to be really fun. I also need to buy a little folder to carry all of my documents in and I think that's it so let's head to Officeworks. We just 
got home and I have been tasked with opening and setting up the printer because Rachel's had to take Luca to the groomers. And so I'm gonna open it out here, but then I will move it into her office and then we can start printing things out. like I don't know the last two weeks have just been this weird nothingness headspace I don't even know what I, I think I've been running for what I'm feeling so I actually don't know what I feel and I think I need to figure out what I feel and then do whatever it is I don't know after that when I figure it out so I'm kind of I guess I'm in this space where I'm like okay well I don't have my apartment yet so I can't do what I want so don't do anything which is really just not good use of time because I'm just not happy with how I don't know if the word is reserved but I feel like I'm just sitting back kind of on the sidelines and I'm not a very sideliney person. No, no, no. I just, uh, I don't know. Well, do you think it is the move that you're waiting for or? Probably. This, yeah. I mean, I've been waiting for this move for so long that I just sort of have it in my head that none, no, nothing can happen until I move. And that's not necessarily true. I can do things now, but it's like this mental block, which is good. This is like a miniature therapy session because you're asking me questions and it's making me think harder about how I feel right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. From my perspective of mm. what you're doing, it seems like you put everything on pause. Yeah. And it's like right now isn't good enough to show and it's not a good enough story to tell. Um, when it is, and this is the story you wanted to be telling. This is the process. And part of the process is waiting and part of the process is confusion and part of the process is looking for things and not knowing what's happened. Like that is part of the process. And I feel like if you don't document it, you're going to get there, settle into your new routine and be like, oh, I wish I had a whole part of the story that I missed out on. Yeah, I wish I had a film more because, yeah, in my head, I'm like, there's nothing to talk about. But there is. This is still part of the story. And remember, you said you didn't want to skip out parts of the story anymore. I just get this, like, fear around it being so boring and then it's going to drive people away because it's not interesting. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. It's time to go and get ready. I hope you enjoyed that little conversational piece this morning. I was just having a chat with Rachel and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to throw my camera on and my microphone and record this conversation because I uploaded my question and answers video this morning and I don't like it. I just, I hate that video. And I think it's because I feel as if I'm a bit rigid and just a bit awkward in it. And I didn't know how to film the question and answers video. Like I said, in that video, I've been out of making, I've been out of practice with making videos for a number of weeks now. So I just felt awkward. But as Rachel and I were chatting this morning, I kind of realized that, you know, it's been just over two weeks since I was approved for my visa. And ever since then, I've just not been dealing with how I feel. I feel like I kind of checked out a little bit. I guess I didn't want to feel the feelings that come with this whole move because it's finally real, right? Like now I can finally move. The wait is over and it's very bittersweet. I'd be lying if I said there wasn't a part of me that wants to stay here because I've, you know, become very accustomed to being back in Australia and I'm really enjoying my time here. But at the same time, I'm so excited to move and I'm so excited to see my boyfriend again because obviously I haven't seen him in a really long time and I'm really excited about it. But there's also a part of me that does feel a little bit sad and having such a major life move is very very overwhelming and I don't think I was giving myself enough space to feel overwhelmed because I've already done this once before and sometimes I do this I get really hard on myself and I expect myself to just deal with things especially if I've already been through something similar but that's not really how this works I definitely have a lot of feelings around my move that I need to think about and feel them in order to process them so that I can move through them otherwise just suppressing them and pushing them off to the side I'm not gonna be able to show up on camera feeling normal I'm gonna be weird and awkward and that's not fun for anybody and it's not fun to make videos when I feel like there's so much tension behind how I feel and there's a lot of tension when I have to turn on the camera and think about what I've got to say whereas when I just let the let the thoughts and the feelings out and let it flow everything is just so much better so I think I have a lot of feeling to do now and I am gonna pick up with sort of where I left off the other day I set up the printer it's under Rachel's desk which is just here below me I do need to still print out that document I haven't done it yet but today we're gonna head off and go to the markets which I'm really excited about I realize I have an absolute full alfalfa moment going on and I'm not sure if I should leave my hair like this half up half down whether I should do something with it it's really dirty too I should probably quickly spray some dry shampoo through it but I'm just yeah getting ready because we're gonna go down to the markets I really want to go and have a look through all the flowers because I'm so inspired and I just want to be able to buy my own bunch the very first bunch for my new apartment 
comment. I'm very excited about that, but I don't know. I just want to go and indulge and pretend that I can buy a big bunch of flowers today and I will live vicariously through Rachel while she buys a big bunch of flowers for her really cute apartment. We're in my favorite section. Look at all of these flowers, they're so beautiful. I absolutely love these ones. I cannot wait to get into a routine of being able to buy flowers every other week. Lots of flowers, they're so cute. They're large and they're for my kitchen. I cannot wait to be able to go back out and do this. This just, I'm just living through you at the moment. I haven't been to South Melbourne markets in years. I used to live just over there. Oh, that's my building. You can actually see it from here. I don't know, it's like right in between the trees. It's probably not being picked up, but I used to live in South Melbourne and every Sunday I would come down here and I would go and get all of my groceries and flowers and everything for the upcoming week. And I miss that sort of routine so much and I can't wait to have that when I move. We miss the tram so we've decided we're just gonna stand here and take some pictures and some videos for Instagram because why not when you have cute flowers it's what you're supposed to do oh no that car might turn around there's like a turning around spot up there step that way like stand here out here because otherwise you get the drain pipe things in the background I like those oh they're cute I really really like those ones I it's a couple days later. Look at these flowers that Rachel bought from the markets. They're so cool. So they're going to continue to open all the way up. I just think they're so pretty. I have no idea what these flowers are, but I just really like them. Good morning. As I said before, it is a couple of days later. I had to write the entire day off yesterday because I had the biggest migraine. It was so painful. So I did not do much of anything yesterday. And I started tracking my migraines in January and it's definitely hormonal. It, it happens basically every month and they're just getting so painful. Thankfully today it has eased off. I know that right now somewhere in the background, Toast, <laughs> she's right there, has the zoomies. She's in a crazy mood right now. Um, but <laughs> there she goes, it's so cute. Uh, yesterday I still did have a back and forth conversation with my lawyers just to confirm what documents I do need to take to my interview next week, which I am starting to freak out about. I was filled with anxiety this morning, more anxious today than I have been in a really, really long time and I'm just stressing over irrational things like I'm gonna sleep through my alarm and I'm gonna miss the appointment or my passport is gonna get destroyed or something's gonna go wrong and I'm not gonna be able to go through this last stage and everything's gonna be delayed by months. I'm just really stressed about it at the moment. Thankfully, the anxiety has eased off a little so I'm not feeling too bad right now, but like I can still kind of feel it in my chest a little bit. Like I don't feel great today, which is kind of annoying, but I did find out that I have so many documents to actually print out. They suggested that it's better to take more than what you actually need just in case they ask for any supporting documentation and then you have it all there with you so I am going to be doing a lot of printing this afternoon I may end up having to buy Rachel some more printer ink because I actually need to print a document that is I don't know how many pages long it is but it's pretty significant I've also been writing a to-do list in my notes app I am actually so into my notes app at the moment because I can share them with people and I've I got one full of apartment stuff that I have been sharing with my boyfriend because he did go and look at an apartment for me on Saturday and unfortunately the apartment that I was interested in was already gone by time he showed up to look at it but he did look at some other ones in the building and I'm just not I'm not 100% sure on them yet so I do have this other list that I am sharing with him and I think he's gonna go and have a look at a couple more in the next week or so but I've just been writing to-do lists and notes and just keeping track of everything in the notes app and I love it so I have a bit of a to-do list that I need to do I also have a list of notes of all the things I need to print out so I think I'm just gonna get on with that right now now, and then that way I can get it over and done with because this is probably gonna take me a little bit of time to just get everything sorted. I am just sitting on the couch downloading the HP app onto my laptop so that I can print directly to the printer and I was going through all of the documents and collecting them to print them. The official website gives you a very strict list of stuff you have to print but then there's also an extra list that's advised to take with you just in case and I'm a little bit confused and I've had to email my lawyers to confirm because one of the documents that I, I, I may be wrong and I, maybe I don't need to print this entire thing but the entire petition was 808 pages. I didn't look at the page count until just now and I had no idea it was that 
big. This is why you need lawyers. 808 pages were submitted. And I am absolutely blown away by how much is in this document. I, yeah, I cannot believe it. So I don't know if I'm supposed to print 808 pages. That seems like a lot. I don't know. We'll see. If that's the case, I will take it to an actual printing place. I will not be printing it here at home. But at the moment, I'm just going to print out the few pages that I do actually need. But we'll see. I could be wrong. I feel like there's something wrong about that number. Like I'm quite sure that's not a document that I need to print. This is why I need to confirm before I end up 808 pages into this. And then it's like, oh, you don't actually need it. So yeah, I am just absolutely amazed. 808 pages. That's insane. Like that's so much information that was submitted. That's crazy. I needed to see what 800 pages would look like and this is 500 pages. So 800 would probably be about that thick. <laughs> I don't think that seems right. Like that's a lot, but I've been looking through this petition and oh my gosh, it is so detailed. I know it sounds so silly to have not known how much went into this, but I seriously didn't. I just provided the lawyers with all of the documents that they asked for and then they put the entire petition together. I just didn't realize how much actually goes into this. It makes sense though with like the time that it took, you know, four months of collecting documents and putting stuff together. It makes sense that Oh my God, I had no idea. I'm scrolling through this thing, looking at all of my like work history, basically. It's like my life's achievements in this document. And it's, it's crazy to look back over everything. It's also really cool, but I'm just shocked. I didn't realize it was this massive. Toast has also come to join me, haven't you, Toasty? And you, Toasty, come to join me and help me while I put together my little HP printing thing. And I can at least print out the first few documents while I wait for the response about the giant, giant document. Did I also mention that I bought a new dressing gown? It's starting to get so cold here in Melbourne and I just had to get something because I am not coping. I do not cope well with the cold. I know I lived in Canada for two years, make it make sense. No, I'm convinced that the buildings just are far better insulated than what they are here in Melbourne. So I don't feel the cold as much when I'm somewhere like Toronto, but I had to get a dressing gown. I got this from Dares. I talked about it on my TikTok. You may have missed it if you don't follow me over there, but I'm starting to run out of space in my luggage. I don't know if this was a good idea or not. I am going to find a way to shove it into my suitcase because this has been the little thing that I've been living in since just, you know, being around the house. This is the little documents folder I purchased the other day. I love these types of folders for keeping documents in. So I just printed three separate documents that will go in here. They were not very large, only one to three pages each. So not a lot of pages. I'm gonna remove this sticker cause I don't like it. And then I'm also gonna throw my passports in here as well. I have my current passport and my old passport. I don't know why they need the old one, but they suggest that as well. So I'm gonna put that all together and have it sitting there and waiting until I can wrap up the last few things to print. I think that's pretty much everything that I can do for my visa today. I'm gonna to have to come back in a couple of days and do the printing of the passport photo and then also determine whether I have to print that giant document or not. So we'll figure that out in the next couple of days, but it's all coming up so fast and I'm so excited, but I'm also so nervous. I need to stop freaking out that something's gonna go wrong because otherwise then I'll probably manifest it. So I just. Need Need to stay positive and just keep telling myself that everything's gonna be fine and the next couple of weeks are gonna be so smooth and I'll be there and everything will work out so I'm glad that I did that today and I do feel a little less anxious than what I did this morning which is kind of nice I did kind of just get changed I'm in the middle of getting changed because I'm gonna go out and run some errands but I'm going to end this video here and then I'm going to restart the next video immediately so I will see you very very shortly